sleeping it was the siren that woke me up from sleep and I inquired what was happening and I was told that the army were coming to my house so I looked through the window in my bedroom window towards the junction which is less than 100 meters from here and I saw the uh, armored personnel carrier he drove past and then he turned around and came back again towards this direction. And they started firing at the people who were protesting and asking them why were they coming to this place to harass peaceful people who have done nothing to deserve such humiliation and evil. I said, what well, happened? They started firing this moment. So I was told that a few people were hurt and injured. I saw two people who were bleeding profusely. I was told there were casualties. And as is their tradition, when they shoot people, they carry their bodies away. So we didn't want them to get at those people. That's what we prevented them from coming here. The intention was to come here to ransack my family home. And we would not have that. That's exactly what happened yesterday. Now, the entire episode was captured on a videotape. And I'm sure that's widely available for people to see and come to their conclusion. The one thing that happened for sure was that our people were insistent that they will not enter my father's compound. That was what happened yesterday. So those that were um, hit by the bullets, where are they now? They're in a very secure location after receiving for treatment. They're now receiving very serious medical attention. And last night, this same Nigerian they went to FMC, which is the Federal Medical Center, to inquire about them so they can take their bodies away as usual. How many of them, sir? Three in total that I'm aware of. No lives we are lost. I understand that lives we are lost. Do you know about the number of persons lost? I know I can, I was told at least two people. It was five initially, but the rest sustained superficial injuries and bullet wounds. The police told us um, um, three people are currently receiving uh, treatment at their clinic, that they were only macheted and not uh, shot. Uh, who macheted who? Ask the police because they're liars. The Nigerian military and Nigerian police, they have perfected the art of lying. And unfortunately, some of you men and women in the media have allowed them to get away with mud. That is why they do what they do, because of the complacency of the media and certain television stations. That is the reason why Nigeria is a dictatorial state. That is why there is no freedom here. That is why people are being pursued into their bedrooms to attack them. You have been here now. Do you see anybody armed? Have you seen any soldiers as they claim we have? We are a peaceful people. My father's palace is Omudo's palace. My father is a JP has been a peacemaker all his life. All I want is freedom. And I have determined that self-determination via referendum is the best way to settle this dispute once and for all. And we are on the turn. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, on the part of the military, actually, it's quite trending through the social media that they went through the FMC okay, as this particular incident took place. Uh, the axis between FMC and World Bank, but unfortunately, um, able to tell us that it actually happened right here. What's your part? On it's happened here. The thing about the Nigerian military, which you men and women of the media must try to counter, come and investigate. Go and ask people less than 100 meters from here. The junction right behind me was where all these things are. We stopped them from entering this untied road. That is why they've not tied this very road, because my father is an upright man. A traditional ruler who will not compromise his principles. They refuse to tire his road. That is why. At the end of this entire road, at the junction, was where they packed their tanks. I saw them go and watch the video. They moved up and they reversed and came back. They turned their tires to come in here. And the young man said, No, they don't come in. That's exactly what happened. And we maintain, and will continue to maintain, that we remain peaceful, determined, and very resolute. Nothing is going to stop us. Okay. Nigeria is bringing war to us. We are not fighting anybody. It is Buratai and his men that are bringing war to us. They want us to become armed so that the world can say that Nambekan is leading a violent armed group, which is not the case. 
that are provoking us to war. And it's your duty as journalists to make sure that the world understands this. Okay, there was this uh, report that you had a meeting with the Southeastern governors. What was actually the outcome of that particular meeting you had with them? I think my primary concern now is for the family of those that lost their lives and for the people in hospital receiving treatment. When the time comes for that, I will gather you people from the media to brief you as to precisely what we are doing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please, I want to ask for permission. Can we take short form um, from the big to... Of course, we can, yes. Okay. Yes. You should exactly where they came. I'll show you exactly where they came to. Yeah. Hi, Biafrans. I'm coming to you live in America um, because I want to talk about what has happened today with Biafrans uh, being shot and massacred um, when it shouldn't happen that way, that Bahori's government has gone too far and that our people are being massacred every day. And I'm taking you to a monumental place where a lot of our uh, war heroes were uh, placed and their names were placed in America and because I want to honor our, our Biafrans and our people who have died for nonsense over Bahori's government, Bahori's tactics, Bahori's beliefs. And I just want to say that America, we are watching you Bahori. Uh, we know your game, we know what, what you are up to, we know your plans, and it, it, you will fail. And how you come and attack innocent people, and you, you come to rob them of their life. I say, God has a present for you. God is coming. God is, God is coming to rescue his people. You cannot be a, a dictator and you can't even governor, govern your own country, but you have to make war with people that are not coming against you, that they just want freedom. And I think you are powerless. You are a fool. You are a fool to your generation. You are a fool to generations to come because you will not last long what you have done to these people. And I will not stop. You can send every, uh, every enemy against me in social media, every enemy against me on uh, Facebook, but I will keep going because you cannot stop a child of God. And I will, I will make sure that America sees what you have done today, what you continue to do to the people. And see, I will put their names with us here in America. See, these are fallen soldiers here, but I will place Biafra in the same place that our soldiers have in place and that's high we sit in a place of highness we don't sit to bow down to you but we are children of the most high God even in the storm that is coming I'm going to say my people shall not perish but they shall have knowledge because I'm going to give it to them our leader is going to give it to them and our people will come out of this that God has a different plan. I don't care what your plans are for them and that you come where, where they're empty handed. You have come to mark them with not having a capability to take on your tactics. But I will tell you that God, God says he will destroy the enemies. He will put them under his feet. So I'm telling you, you are playing with the wrong God. You, you need to go and do your, uh, do your Allah in your praises somewhere else. You need to take your characters that you have, Boko Haram, and your uh, ideology somewhere else because it, it will not play. See, I'm, I was born for this, so I will not stop till I win. I will take you on, I will take Boko Haram, I will take all of you, and I will not stop till the plan is annihilated. Your ways are annihilated. And I love you, Biafrans. I'm fighting for you. I have not stopped. Sometimes I gotta be silent because you don't let the enemy know everything you're doing. But I tell you, I place you in the highest with our American soldiers. And you 
will not die unnoticed. You will not die. Your plan, your way is not death. Your plan is highness. Your plan is greatness. I will tell you that God, God will enable you with power. And I'm telling you that this, this year, that they will, they will try to pull the same tactics that they pulled before, but you will come out alive. That what they had planned for your weakness, uh, God has planned for power. And I just say, be yeah, friends, keep your mind straight, keep your eyes upon God, and uh, you will see greatness this year. And I love you. I just wanted to let you know. I wanted to let before he knows know that his tactics have failed. Your ways are failure. Your name is is darkness. And I tell you, the friends, I love you. Don't listen to the enemy. I am still on your side. I am with you. I love you. And be blessed.